Hello, I'm Becky Wright from New Leaf Workplace Wellbeing and I'm going to talk about how to manage your fear so you can feel able to return to your local high street once again. We have all seen the slogans, stay alert, control the virus, save lives, stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. And now we're being asked to use our common sense. Our minds read messages and they become, after a while, like an internal voice in our head. All the messages we have heard are controlling and are given for a very clear purpose of staying safe and protecting others. The message has now changed, but has our behaviour changed in relation to this? We are being encouraged to return to our town centres, the shops, cafes and local community which relies on us returning to their places for the economy to grow. So how do you manage the fear that arises when you think about returning to work, your community, your friends and your local high street? Our fear can be debilitating. Fears can stir up quite an internal storm. For most of us, fear either triggers our instinctual fight or flight response or is a red flag signalling that we're treading into dangerous territory and we should head back to the comfort of the familiar. Remember, fears are only as big as we allow them to be. We have been programmed to believe that fear is bad, which prevents many of us from taking healthy risks and using our common sense. But can I suggest it's not about getting over your fear, but getting into your fear. We acknowledge the fear and then we need to focus on our breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just try and let your fear just be. Don't try to make it go away. Don't try and force yourself to be calm. Just breathe. Instead of reacting to your fear or returning to these places, I suggest you do the opposite. Focus on how you feel connected to these places. You probably have positive memories of visiting the cheese shop, the vintage clothing shop in the avenue, the cafe in the shopping centre or the cake shop in the marketplace. Places help us feel connected. So again, come as close to your fear as you can. Watch it. Sit with it. Be with it. See it as a process. You see, in a fearful moment, we can either retreat or we can take a creative leap and go to that place in your mind, remembering it as a safe place to be. For change to happen, we have to be the change. The virus is in many ways still a mystery. We need to know how to listen to ourselves and work with the unknown. We must see our body to anchor ourselves to help us feel grounded and develop our internal safety. Start to manage your fear and embody your confidence. Sometimes fear stems from real threats, but it can also originate from imagined dangers. It is a natural emotion and a survival mechanism. Our high streets are doing all that they can to help us feel safe and welcomed. We may have personal reasons for not wanting to connect. Some of you listening may be elderly or frail. People who are shielding remain vulnerable and should continue to take precautions. 
but may now choose to leave their home. Stay safe, keep well. Practice safe social distancing. You are in, unlikely to be infected if you walk past another person in the street. It is only fear stopping you. Then again, breathe in and breathe out. Take yourself once again to that happy place you remember. Those places are waiting to welcome you once again. If you want to read the latest government guidance on how to stay safe in public, please visit www.gov.uk forward slash coronavirus. Thank you for listening.